Hey guys, now if you're like me and you like to customise your Android device, you're going to notice what this screen is straight away. This is obviously Nova Launcher. Um, obviously Barry has done a previous video a while back on Nova Launcher, saying all the good and bad points to it. And obviously at the moment I would say it's probably the best way to customise your Android device to get it looking exactly and feeling exactly how you want it to basically. Now I've used Nova Launcher to get my Android device to look like this. Obviously I'm rocking my Nexus 7 at the moment. And obviously it's got a custom icon skin, obviously there's different transitions and things. Um, the grid spacing on the home screen is different. The grid spacing within my app drawer is different. So there's a lot of things that you can do to kind of get it exactly looking how you want it. Now what I do want to say though is, I personally would like, and I know a lot of other people would as well, maybe an easier way to customise without having to go into all these settings and things. I would like to be able to see a theme either online or that my friend has got and say, okay, I really like that theme, that's the theme I want, how do I get it the quickest, easiest way? So what I'm going to show you guys to do now is a really simple way to get your home screen looking, kind of changing really from how you've got it at the moment to looking something like this. Now the way that I've done this is using Buzz Launcher on my coffee cup of the glass, and let's take a look. Okay, so what you're gonna first need to do there is head straight over to the Play Store and download Buzz Launcher. Now, like I said, it's a completely free application, not gonna have to pay any money for it or anything like that, which is really nice because it's you know completely free to be able to do all this customization and things, and you're not really gonna have to worry about forking out any money to you know customize your device. Now, at the moment, it's only available for Android smartphones, mobile devices, and the Nexus 7. Um, nothing in terms of updates or anything as of yet for the Nexus 10 or anything like that. So if you do have anything bigger than a 7-inch tablet, you are going to be out of luck. Now, it's not just Nexus devices, not just Nexus 7. It will do it with any 7-inch tablet, really, that runs on Android. So obviously, if you think about the Samsung Galaxy tabs, they're running on Android. Obviously, you have the new HP uh, tablet that came out not too long ago here in the UK. Um, that, again, you'll be able to use on there as well, basically. So again, really nice to kind of see it across the board, apart from, you know, no love for those 10-inch tablets, unfortunately. Um, so what you want to do, basically, is once it has finished downloading, Obviously, it's going to do the usual thing of putting an uh, icon on your home screen. It's going to move mine into the gap that I've got conveniently placed here. What you want to then do is click on the icon, and it's going to basically launch Buzz Launcher. Now, it's going to kind of give you a brief overview and a very quick intro into Buzz Launcher, what it can or can't do. Now, obviously, you can share your home screens with your friend, which is a really nice social aspect. Obviously, you can see here they've got kind of these Facebook Messenger type chat heads, if you will, um, and they're kind of your profile photo you can upload different themes if you can make them yourself, or you can share a theme that you are using for your friends and things to be able to use as well, which is really nice. Um, obviously there's no fuss, you can see here, doesn't make a fuss set in your home screen. All you do is click on some download links and then it is done. Now obviously some of them which we'll get into they are gonna require slightly more kind of tinkering about because there's gonna be some extra things that you need. But overall it's a pretty easy experience. I've not really had that many problems. And I'm quite new to Android and the customization features of Android. Um, so again, not too much of a problem there. Now what it's gonna ask you to first do is select kind of a default pack that it is going to kind of apply to your device as the default launcher for Buzz Launcher, basically. Obviously, we've got a very simple one there. This is the most simple one. This is actually the Buzz Launcher itself. And then another one here which looks completely different to normal Android. What we're going to go with just for the meantime is just the stock Buzz Launcher. Now, so what it's going to do is they're going to download the Home Pack, as they're called, um, which is basically the uh, theme pack. Um, it's the thing that it needs to change your device up. Now, obviously, depending on your internet speed or if you're using a mobile device, depending on your 3G connection, can sometimes depend on how long this will take. Um, with my internet, though, it doesn't seem to be going too bad. My internet is extremely slow, by the way. I'm getting about three megabits down. So, obviously, yours is going to cut a lot faster than mine. But once everything is done, what it's then going to do is it's going to launch your new home screen basically as it's now doing. Now, what it's then going to say is, you know, this is your new home screen basically. You can use this home screen or you can now apply another theme. Now, constantly throughout the application itself, down in the bottom left hand corner, you will see a B that looks a bit like the Beats audio. Uh, now, what that basically enables you to do is go to the store. Um, now, at the moment, as far as I'm aware, all the packs themselves are completely free of charge. I can't see anywhere you actually need to buy any, so that's definitely good. What it's going to ask you to do is ask you to create an account where you can share your profile and things. I would recommend doing that, but for video purposes, I'm just going to skip that just for now. 
What this thing can do, like I said, it's going to bring you into the uh, store itself. So obviously you've got categories, staff picks, hot picks, and also new. Obviously categories is going to be exactly what you would think. It's two different kind of styles. You've got functional or you've got style. So obviously you've got educational, kids, photography, books in terms of functionality. So that one's going to be a lot more tailored towards photography and photographs, etc. And I've just got SMS communication and so on. And if you click on style, then it's going to be um, more simplistic things like colorful and dynamic, romantic, simple and modern, etc. So really nice there to have kind of different options there. Now, I'm going to give you a quick example. I'm just going to install a kind of custom launcher or custom home screen, sorry, onto my device. If I can just see if we've got a good looking one. I think I found one earlier that was kind of nice, but it, like I said, I want to pick one that's not too simple because I want to explain to you guys that there are some other things that you may um, need to do in terms of getting it how exactly you want it to look, if that makes sense. Uh, let's just have a look. So if we use, let's see, uh, this one would be a good one to use. So click on this one here. What it's going to do is it's going to give you a preview of the actual home screen itself. Um, again, depending on your internet connection and things will depend on how long this is going to take for different people. But in my opinion, it seems to go extremely well. The actual application itself was very nice. I've not had any issues with crashing or anything like that. Now what you're going to be presented with, again, is just like an app store. You're going to see a preview of what it is that you're going to be buying. Obviously you can buzz, which means sharing it with one of your friends. You can like or again share using different options like email and things like that. The buzz share option only shares it with your friends um, on the actual buzz launcher if that makes sense. Obviously there is then a download button and also there's recommendations, well not recommendations, kind of just some statistics down there. Been buzzed 14 times, liked 46 and then shared or downloaded 2,125 times. So again, obviously depending on the amount of downloads will depend on the popularity and things. So again, it would be good if they maybe had a section, I can't see one yet, but it would be good if they had a section of top downloaded for instance, but unfortunately I can't really see a section that has those sort of figures in it. Now if you go down, it's going to kind of give you some applications that it thinks you may want to download um, to use with this theme. Because obviously a lot of the themes are going to come with some preloaded icons um, and obviously some of the applications you may not have on your phone and it thinks you may want to have them on there basically. And down the bottom then it's got some comments in terms of people that like it, don't like it, what they think they can improve, etc. So what I'm going to do then, I'm just going to click on download. Um, again, it's going to bring up some tutorial information because, like I say, this is the first time that well, the first time I'm doing it for video purposes. And then you want to just click on Apply to Home Screen. Uh, what this thing going to do, like I say, again, it's going to download your home pack. What this thing going to do? The really good thing about this as well is it's actually going to give you a preview of the theme as it would look on your device without you having to actually download it. So what it's now doing is downloading resources for preview. So like I say, it's going to kind of put some images on screen of how the theme is going to look on my Nexus 7. And also depending on which device you're using, this is going to differ ever so slightly. Now one thing that I will call out as well is it tells you if you need anything extra for the actual theme itself. So for instance, in this case here, it's showing me a preview of how it's going to look on my device. So that's all perfectly fine, not a problem there. Now see the clock widget there, you can see there are some down arrows pointing down. That means that I will need to either download something to match that clock widget there or use my own and again these applications here some of them are just standard applications like for instance they're telling me to download whatsapp because i don't have it on my uh, nexus 7 and certain things like that you don't have to download them you can use your own or in some cases like on this next screen there the weather widget has a square there so just in the middle it's got kind of a, a couple of squares meaning that i do already have that widget on my device and i can just use it straight away and apply it to the theme so what you then want to do you can go back click on the back button or click ok which will then install the actual theme onto your device and that's pretty much everything done so you can see now that my nexus 7 has a completely fresh look and again just to give you a real quick example as well like i mentioned with this weather widget that we've got here if you click on that it's going to say i am the sky forecast widget can be added to this page continue to add so what that means is i've already got it on my device if i just click on add it's going to give me the usual kind of settings for i in the sky Click OK down the bottom there, and then it's going to apply the widget to the actual theme itself. So again, really nice there, really simple. And it's really good that it kind of tells you what you do or don't need. Obviously, it's really good to be able to customize using Nova Launcher, but you're going to have to kind of work some things out for yourself, which is, you know, can be a bit of a hassle sometimes, and some people may not like that. But this kind of uh, launcher now gives you the info you need, tells you where to get it, and obviously just does it all for you, basically, which is really nice. 
Now obviously with this theme here, like I say, there's a couple of different things. You've got your Google widgets in here. It's got all your Google applications and things, your settings and so on, locations. And that's kind of like a uh, just selection of Google tools that it thinks you could use. Down the bottom corner, you've got kind of four circles that make up a square. And this is gonna bring you to app drawer. You can change, for instance, decoration um, or things like this, which in terms of decoration, it means you can actually edit things like the wallpaper and things like that basically so again really simple really easy to use um, and again if you just click on the buzz icon in the bottom left that will take you back to the buzz app itself now we'll see if you go into for instance the app drawer on here you can see that it even themes out the app drawer so again instead of scrolling up like you normally would you actually scroll scroll across and again you can change like the amount of grids that you have on this screen and again if you click on widgets it's going to bring up all the widgets that you can have or that you've already got on your device as well basically so really nice there if i just click on buzz launcher again what it's going to do is just going to take me back to the buzz store where we first started off so like I say, really, really nice application, really simple to use. Like I say, completely free of charge, which I think is one of the biggest points of this application. It's free of charge. And like I said, it's gonna give you that ease and customability to customize your device. And it's gonna be you know, easy and available for everyone. Um, so like I say, I am Michael from Copper V Glass. This has been a quick look at Buzz Launcher, available now in the Play Store. I highly recommend downloading it and having a go. And I'll catch you in the next video.